evening guys. Uh, so just very quickly, I just want to go over um, some little bits and pieces with Tokyo Shodan first kata. Okay, so the particular stance in first kata is um, long forward stance, which is the Zenko Sadachi. Okay, so that's a, a long forward stance. Primarily, front knee being pushed over that front leg, or that front foot, okay? One shoulder width, so you should be able to roll a, a, you know, a standard size sort of football between your legs, and you wanna be uh, knee underneath the shoulder, same with the opposite leg, underneath the shoulder, so you've got one shoulder width, okay? Now the length of it, and again, is two shoulder widths. So if you use your, your stances as um, shoulder widths, then you'll understand why I'm sort of using one shoulder width and two shoulder widths, okay? Now, long stance, then kutsadach. Again, is two shoulder widths in length and one shoulder width in width. Back leg nice and straight. Uh, back foot pointing on a 45 degree angle, roughly, um, uh, on the back leg. And then again, just slightly turned in on the front leg. Okay, all right, so. This is how, um, I'll go through the particular stances and go through the particular count on how we work it uh, for that particular kata. So, we start off from here, feet together in uh, Masubi Dachi, which is basically heels together, you bow, step, and out. Okay, so your first move, you're gonna be stepping out with the left foot. Straight away, the right foot primarily stays where it is. So if you think of the kata, as the kata goes through all of its movement, all of its movements, there'll be one foot pretty much which stays where it is, and then the other foot will then move. Okay, so the first move, I'm gonna be stepping out to my left, and here, this is the angle that I'm gonna be blocking on. Okay, so I've got my rounded block on this angle here, and as I step out from this position, turn out to my left, and block. So this is your Gidon Barai, okay? So Hikate, hand back, Heel and right down, step forward, and punch. Okay, so again, this stance is standard all the way through the kata. Now I'm gonna go back to the opposite way now. So as I do that, this foot comes all the way through, and then you turn and step through with that block again. Okay, so from that point, straight through from there. Now I'm gonna step forward again. So if you think of a capital letter I, okay, you've got the, the strip that goes across the bottom, the strip that goes right way through the middle, and then the strip that goes across the top, okay? So we're just following that pattern, okay? What we're gonna do now, step forward, punch. Now we're gonna come down that centre line, okay? So I'm now gonna come towards the camera. From there, round block. Now we're gonna step forward, punch. Step forward, punch. Step forward, punch, key on. So, and then from there, what we're gonna do is we're now gonna go this way. So the back foot, comes all the way around from here and round block here. Now we're gonna come across the top of that capital letter I like I was talking about, step forward, punch. Then we're gonna go back the opposite way, straight through from there, straight through with a block, step forward and punch again. And now we're gonna go right the way back down that center line again, okay? So round block, step forward, punch, step forward, punch, Punch the eye. Hey Back leg comes around. With the block again. Step forward, punch. Opposite way again with the block. Step forward and punch again. And that is where you finish. So the finishing part, you come from here, right leg, comes back, is back into the Subidach. Both feet together. Hands coming together, turn, hands by your sides, bow, and finish. Okay, so that is Tokyo Showdown first kata. So I've gone through a little bit of information. I've said about the stance work, I've said about the transitioning backwards and forwards, and you can't go far wrong if you're looking at long stance, one shoulder width in width, two shoulder widths in length, back leg nice and straight, back foot on a 45 degree angle, front foot, again, that knee over the front foot, slightly turned in, you will not go far wrong, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm now gonna do it the opposite way. So from this position, from here, and so this will be the back angle now. So, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and from there, your name. Good, okay, so hopefully, hopefully I've got that all on camera. Uh, we'll see how it works out. So that's just a little bit of information about Tokyo Showdown. Um, the stance that was used, uh, the positionings of the feet, uh, the full rotations of the back foot and such. Again, I can't go into too much detail with it uh, because of the amount of time that I've got, but there's a, just a little bit more information there for you guys to start picking that up. Again, you've got to practice it at home. You can't just rely on doing everything in class all the time. I, I understand that you know you guys are uh, uh, you guys are coming along every week. We can't fit everything into an hour. Okay, that's why most people now start thinking about doing two classes a week, which means it gives them a little bit more time to start picking things up. Um, you've got to do a little bit of home training as well, guys. All right. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.